if you're going to arrest the people that you see on this screen right here, then you have to arrest the people that have committed crimes against Brett Finnerty, April Hawley, Shane, Jacob, Jolene, Ahan Wong, Richard Vasquez, Lee Tran, and her family. Uh, if you don't, then you're saying it's okay for people to willfully break the law, including the police. Put your hands behind your back, Kevin. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to take you to jail. Okay? First of all, okay, listen to me. You have, no, I, 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 none of this tear stuff. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to have an attorney present while you are questioned. If you can't afford to hire one, the court will appoint you one. Do you understand that? Say yes or no. You do. Okay, let's have a seat in the back seat. And so when you stop crying and getting all hysterical, I'll talk to you, okay? First, here at noon, two former Massachusetts state police troopers have been arrested and charged with getting paid for overtime hours they did not work. Prosecutors say from 2015 to 2018, Lieutenant Daniel Griffin and Sergeant William Robertson conspired to embezzle thousands of dollars in overtime from federally funded programs. They're also accused of burning records and forms when the state police overtime scandal came to light three years ago. We will keep doing these kinds of cases until this kind of abuse stops. Abuse that is deeply unfair to the majority, the vast majority of law enforcement officers who are doing the job fairly and honestly and already under difficult circumstances. Now, both Griffin and Robertson are charged with conspiracy theft and wire fraud. They're set to face a judge in federal court in Boston this afternoon. Hello. Now, um, I'm not one of these people that goes around and does audits. This is not my job. I was a software, I wrote software, I troubleshot electronics, I was a technician, I was moved into an engineering position. I know what I'm doing in electronics and software design. Nobody will give me a job because of what you did. You broke the law. I don't want to go around doing audits like this. I'm not an auditor. I'm saying, you broke the law jail for breaking the law. It, it, the Constitution is the law of the land. It is. It doesn't matter what you say. It is the law of the land. If you break the Constitution, and these are serious crimes, serious, you cannot ignore it. You know, ignorance of the law is not an excuse of the law either. Ignorance so just because of the law is yes, no excuse. So just because you don't know the law doesn't mean you can't be found guilty of a law. Does that make sense? Right. Okay. Right. So if you go from another state and you break a law, they don't have to educate you in all the laws of that state before you break a law and you get in trouble. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's upon you to know the laws, right? Right. Okay. Now we're here to help you and you know educate you about those things. Okay. But here's the deal. But here's the deal. Once you've broken the law, basically what's going to happen is enforcement of the law is going to take place, right. and then you're going to become educated, right? Unless you've already educated yourself prior to.